there continues to be this huge controversy over how to orient datum planes. This tip should put that controversy to rest. The title of the tip is Orienting Datum Planes. On this drawing, we have a position tolerance on the 8 millimeter hole. The primary datum feature, A, is regardless of feature size, and it's this 15 millimeter hole. So this means I would fill it with the largest inscribed cylinder, and the axis of that cylinder would be my primary datum, and that would be the intersection of two mutually perpendicular planes. My secondary datum feature, B, is also regardless of feature size, and it's this slot. Let's just see how I use that slot to orient these datum planes. As I mentioned, first you would fill datum feature A with the largest inscribed cylinder. This gives you an axis. The axis is the intersection of two mutually perpendicular planes. The question is, how do I now orient these datum planes? Well, the slot was picked as a secondary datum feature. There's two ways that I can use this to orient the planes. One way is to locate the center plane of parallel planes at the 14 basic dimensions seen on the drawing. Then have those planes expand to fill the slot, as you see here. The second way would be to fill the slot and then rotate to orient the datum planes parallel to the center plane of the slot. This one is preferred by a lot of coordinate measuring machine operators. The correct answer? Locate parallel planes at the basic location and expand them to fill the slot. Because datum simulators are perfect in form, orientation, and location. I hope this put the controversy to rest, and I'll see you next month.